Hi everybody, I'm Darren Moore and you're watching Reggae Boys Commentary. This video is brought to you by MPEC Printery, specializing in t-shirt printing, posters and shipping from the USA. Call 876-775-6692 or 876-337-7374. Andy Gone Nuts, 100% guaranteed fresh coconut water delivered straight to your door. Call 876-309-6128. That's 876-309-6128. Refreshing and affordable. For more information, follow them on Instagram at Andy Gone Nuts. Mmm, truly refreshing. And Crumble by Mrs. C. Old English fudge and other delectable sweet treats. Call or WhatsApp 876-586-0471. That's 876-586-0471. This video is also brought to you by BLC Jamaica Security Electronics. Specializing in alarm system, video surveillance, camera system or CCTV, barrier system, gate automation and access control. Call 876-320-7711. That's 876-320-7711 or 876-351-1105. That's 876-351-1105. Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are across the globe. I'm Simon Preston and welcome to Reggae Boys Commentary. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video on this channel. My apologies for the audio of the video done on Wednesday in relation to the Reggae Girls. It's very bizarre because I do remember speaking and I was speaking. However, I'm not sure why the audio was not going out for that video in particular because it was a live video. And during the live, I didn't see any comments in the audio of anyone saying that there was no audio. So, you know, I found it quite bizarre, but if you guys are able to hear what I'm saying, I'm right now, as you speak, two things. I just kindly ask you to put a thumbs up in the comments and also to hit the like button as well, okay? So go ahead and do that. Just a thumbs up for this video in particular. And in addition to that as well, you know, uh, a thumbs up in the comments and also to like the video as well so i'd greatly greatly appreciate that you know guys it, it would mean a lot to me you know so i can know exactly how the audio is going maybe it was just a glitch in the system but personally i was speaking yesterday but I, I, i'm sure you guys saw the squad that was named and everything of that nature so i'm glad that you know you were able to see that and be able to basically you know so the squad that was called up for the game, you know what I mean? So it's a situation, you know. Yeah. So let's crack on with this video, shall we? Talit Entertainment says, good morning, Simon. You're doing a wonderful job. I hope the GFF is watching. Thank you very much, Taliti. I hope that you are doing well. And it's great to hear from you. Absolutely great to hear from you. You got this. <laughs> Thank you very much. So... Yes, guys, as you know, if you want a specific question or comment, you use a super chat feature, you use the the super thanks feature as well. If you want to make your questions, comments highlighted as well. And also super thanks is available as well. So you guys can, you know, show your support for the channel. This it goes a far away in terms of growing the channel and also making things like these happen, you know, having interviews done with players and reaching out to those things. So the, the activities such as uh, Super Chat, Super Thanks, and all of those aspects, it all help, helps and adds up in, in realizing that aspect of things. So I know it's going to be 8 o'clock in Jamaica quite soon, 8 o'clock in the morning, but I'll make the point about a man by the name of Zach Lovelace. Now let me tell you all something. If you're a teenager and you're playing first team football, you're doing something right. And if you're not not 19 and 18, but 16, 
then you're doing a very, 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 very good job. Now, we're talking about a man by the name of Zach Lovelace, and his full name, Zacharia Lovelace, a forward that plays for Rangers right now in the Scottish Premiership. So he... His first club was, was Glebe Football Club in, in Bromley, and then he went, went to Millwall. Now, at Millwall, he had a handful of appearances there as he joined Millwall 2019 in their academy. So he was about 13 at the time when he joined them. And at Millwall, he scored 21 goals in 19 appearances. Lovelace made his debut as a late substitute in Millwall's 1-0 win over Coventry, and he became Millwall's second youngest player in the in the process. You know, July, a couple of months ago, he signed for, for Rangers, linking up with the club's academy, but he made his debut in the League Cup in August. So that shows progress in itself, you know, playing in the first team. So... That, that in itself is something that should be embraced, you know? Because how often do you see aspects like that, you know? So it's, it's he's 16 and he won't be 17 until January. And I know persons like Ian Campbell, persons like Howard Wilson, MPEC, persons like Katsarak will get quite giddy when we tell them that this individual was born in 2006, not 2005, but 2006, to be specific, January 23, 2006. So he's in the same boat as uh, Cameron Eubank, uh, Cameron Eubank, who was born in 2006, and that makes him eligible to play for Jamaica at the under-17 level. So that in itself is something that should be viewed in a extremely positive light, you know, so... That in itself, it's good news and news that we should embrace. So, I know, I know, I know, I know. We go back to the same situation. What is the deal? What is the deal? What is the deal? What is the deal? Well, the deal is this. Zach Lovelace is interested in playing for Jamaica and he's made it clear that the Jamaica Football Federation has to reach out to his father in order to map out the process of this. There's an Instagram account called Blueprint Academy and he's asked representatives to message his father from that account and from there we can get the ball rolling so that we can know what documents is needed and the steps to take from there to make this uh, reality of him playing for Jamaica and I think this is something that we should be embracing because personally I held a strong view that you know Zach Lovelace would play elsewhere but play for Jamaica it's an absolutely amazing feeling that to say that he wants to play for Jamaica so I'm looking forward to it you know It's great news. And I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say in the comments as well. What you guys have to say about it. So you guys can let me know your thoughts in the comments as well. Damalio Sport Report says, why isn't there more emphasis on trying to get our Premier League players in England, in England speaking football, English speaking football nations in Europe like Ireland and Scotland? Okay, so Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland are all part of the United Kingdom. So it's a situation where the work permit is still something because, for an example, Darren Moore, Darren Moore, wanted Damien Lowe, but it was only the work permit 
that stop the process. So that's why right now for players born in Jamaica, it's going to take time. We first have to improve our performances on the pitch. And before we can ensure that, and, and, and after we can get some wins under our belt and, and move back up in the rankings, then we can start thinking about getting players such as Lowe, you know, Richard King and others outside. You know, that is something that we have to, to take a real, real keen interest in. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that this is something that will be taken seriously and hopefully that it's a, a matter that can fall into place quite soon. So I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful about it. But it's going to mean that come 2023, we're going to have to hit the ground running. We know it's the Cameroon game is coming up. But that won't be enough to get us back into the top 50. Beating Mexico in the Nations League will. A deep run in the Gold Cup will as well. So that is something that we're really, really going to have to mesh down on. Something that we're really, really going to have to get into high gear with. <clears throat> and if we're able to do that, then then yes. when We'll be able to get more players within the UK. So at this point in time, he plays for Rangers. Zach Lovelace plays for Rangers FC right, right now. Simon, please don't talk about Lovelace as this is a delicate moment in, in, in the process. Well, as I said, he wants to play for Jamaica and I've said what I've had to say in this matter. So, Cameron Eubank, Cuba Mitchell, Zach Lovelace. And trust me, there's more out there. There's more. And uh, with the days and weeks and months ahead, you will see other interviews and you will hear about others as well. Just to show you that you have others that think about Jamaica on their heart that they really do you know these are persons that think that way you know one moment for some reason there's an alarm <laughs> you know like it's it's two o'clock in the afternoon but it's 8 a.m in Jamaica so it's like my Jamaican alarm you know go off and, and all that aspect of thing you know but I mean it is what it is at the end of the day. Damali Sports Report says, do you think we would have more goalkeepers getting international transfers if we had a clean sheet table in our Premier League? It would help because data is something that clubs within England look at and by wide extension Europe. So I do think it would make a massive impact as well. So I do think that if we can expand on this process, then it would help in the long term of getting more players playing their trade outside of Jamaica outside of North America and into Europe long term. Great job, Simon. Respect your love and dedication to the reggae boys. Do it for the love when I do it for the likes. Do it for the love when I do it for the likes. <laughs> but it's the the situation right now and I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that you know things can fall into place here. But Zach Lovelace is a great player. He's a great player. So, one step at a time, one day at a time. And hopefully, you know, things will fall into place. You know, so. That's what we're going to have to do at this point in time. But um, I'm grateful for you guys tuning in. And I'm hopeful that you all will be able to If you haven't already, then I implore you as well to hit that like button, hit that share button, all right, and hit that subscribe button. I use a super chat feature for questions that you may have. I do have another video to get out today, and I'll be doing it for you guys quite shortly, all right. Do you trust that the JF will call these players? <clears throat> Absolutely. Absolutely. So. For now, Reggae Boys commentary, that's the latest. But do check out, there'll be another video today. And of course, we go live in the evening. So don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to Reggae Boys commentary for more content.
Hi everybody, I'm Darren Moore and you're watching Reggae Boys Country. This video is brought to you by MPEC Printery, specializing in t-shirt printing, posters and shipping from the USA. Call 876-775-6692 or 876-337-7374. Andy Gone Nuts, 100% guaranteed fresh coconut water delivered straight to your door. Call 876-309-6128. That's 876-309-6128. Refreshing and affordable. For more information, follow them on Instagram at Andy Gone Nuts. Mmm, truly refreshing. And Crumble by Mrs. C. Old English fudge and other delectable sweet treats. Call or WhatsApp 876-586-0471. That's 876-586-0471. This video is also brought to you by BLC Jamaica Security Electronics. Specializing in alarm system, video surveillance, camera system or CCTV, barrier system, gate automation, and access control. Call 876-320-7711. That's 876-320-7711. Or 876-351-1105. That's 876-351-1105.